Hello again everyone. Today I'm going to be showing you how to customize your own custom mug from pictogift.com. And once I get to uh, the home screen here, I can just type in mugs into the search bar and it will bring us to all of these mugs. Now keep in mind this video will apply to any mug that we offer, but today I'm going to be using our uh, special black color changing mugs which are actually pretty cool because the mug will normally be black but once the contents inside heat up it will change color to the set background color that you choose so once we get to the uh, purchase page here uh, it'll give you all the information about the copy mug that you would want to know it will even give you a little brief uh, preview down here below so once you decided that this is the mug that you want just click here to personalize and this will open up the editor. <clears throat> now once the editor is open, you can uh, add a design, you can add text, or you can add a team name. Um, today I'm going to add a design and I have some um, preset ones that I already uh, uploaded from my digital camera. So the first one I'm going to do, I'm going to do a couple examples for you guys here just to show you the options you have. First one I'm going to do is I'm going to do more of a vertical design. I'm going to select it and now it is in the editor. Now you'll notice that there's all this white space on the outside. That's fine. Normally if you just have a normal background color, let's say our background color right now is white, it will be black with the image right here, but if you put uh, coffee in it and it is hot, the surrounding uh, color here will turn black. <coughs> now, you'll, uh, this is only a single image, so if you have it right here in the middle, it's going to be directly opposite of the handle. If you move it to the right, it's going to be right along here. If you move it to the left, it's going to be on the opposite side. So right now, uh, I'm going to show you uh, more of a panoramic view. I'm going to get rid of this image, and I'm going to add a different design. Now I have this one. You'll notice this is more of a, it's a wider image. So once I get this into the editor, I'm just going to blow it up until it gets all the way to the edges. And because it is a smaller product of ours, you don't have as many issues as far as blurring and distortion. So now that I've blown this image up, you'll notice that it completely wraps around the entire mug. There's still a little bit of color at the tops and the bottoms for you to choose your background color. So for this one, I'm going to choose something more uh, vibrant because there is a lot of color in this image. <clears throat> so right now I have an orange background. And I have this image here. So whenever uh, you pour contents into this and they are hot, the mug will start off as black, but then it will gradually turn orange the hotter it is. Of course, with anything else, we have the effects. You can put an effects on the image, grayscale, black, white, etc., etc. Or you can choose to put a border around your image. We usually don't recommend this for the mugs, but you can do this and give yourself sort of like a textured effect. Now, one thing I want to do point out is there are people who are right-handed and people who are left-handed. So when you're designing this mug, Let's say we'll go back to the vertical image here real quick because it will matter as far as placing it on the mug. I'm going to bring this uh, the vertical image in. Now I have the vertical image in. Let's reset the background color to white. Now, <clears throat> if you are a right-handed person, you're going to hold on to the cup with your right hand, obviously. So that means you want to have the image on the outside of your cup if you're holding it as a right-hander. So that means if you want to have a right-hand oriented facing mug, you want to put the image on the far right side of the cup. So, for instance, right now I have it on the left side of the editor, but that means it's going to be on the far right side of the cup as if you were holding it as a right-hander. Now, if you scoot it over to the left side, if you're a left-hander, it's going to be on the near left side, so it'll be the far side of the cup as if you were holding it as a left-hander. Just keep that in mind. Use these lines to help guide you as far as the orientation because that can be a bit tricky. Of course, if you don't want to worry about that, you can just center it and the image will be directly across from the handle of the mug. So let's say this is what I want to do. I'm a right-hander, so I'm going to move it all the way to the uh, left side of the image and I'm going to center and line it so it centers vertically. And this is the image that I want to get. So I add the cart and this will bring me to this screen which will give me the option to just check out. I can continue designing if you think you've made a mistake etc etc or you can keep this uh, product and design another one of ours and check out with multiple products at one time. Now I'm going to choose to just do the one today and this will bring me to the 
checkout screen. Of course, here you have a number of options. I can get three of the same mug if I wanted to, and it'll adjust the price accordingly. Right now, I'm just going to get one. Um, and also, if you have a coupon code, enter it into this area right here. Click apply. Um, if you have a gift certificate code, enter it right here and click apply. Just make sure you click apply so the price is applied before you check out. Of course, down here we have the option to check out normally or with PayPal. Once you've checked, or I'm sorry, once you've clicked on either one of these buttons, checking out is just like as if you were checking out on any other website. Of course, if you have, if you have any questions, comments, or concerns about the process, feel free to call us at the number at the top of your screen, and we'd be more than happy to help you out.